Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, we're up early. Um, it's about just about half six in the morning. Um, we're going to get the car ready for a little road trip. It's about 200 miles down to Essex to visit some family. So I just thought I'd take you along and show you guys what I do um, to get the car ready. So as you can see, we've got the bonnet cracked here. The first step is going to check the oil. Um, I, I like to check this weekly, but um, just before we go on a big trip, uh, I like to make sure it's all sort of... Um, tip top um so on these cars usually you don't have a dipstick um, however i've fitted one um, and it's just for reasons like this really rather than having to turn the ignition on turn the engine on to check the oil um, i just find it much easier to uh, just literally lift the dipstick out and uh, test it so um let's take a look at uh, how that's doing So we're, we're just over the max, but um, obviously the car's on a bit of a slope, so that's absolutely fine. Um, obviously, if the car was completely um, flat, that would be concerned. But as you can see, it's a I'll get the focus sorted. It's on a slight downhill, uh, so I've, I have checked it um, previously, and it was absolutely fine. So it's, it's just essentially making sure you haven't suddenly lost loads of oil um, over the past few days. So um, happy with that. Now we're going to move on to just checking the tyre pressures, uh, just making sure they're all okay. Uh, just when you're doing sort of 150 miles plus at motorway speeds, it's always best just to put that in the bin. Uh, have a look at the tyres, make sure they're all good. And... Um, yeah, just, just check the pressures and also just the tread as well because uh, you don't want to have a blowout if you've developed a bulge uh, from a pothole or something like that. So um, what I'll do is I'll get the tyre gauge out and uh, show you guys what I'll do to check them. So here it is, it's a uh, trusty Halfords tyre gauge. You've seen it in previous videos I've done. Um, it's one of my sort of recommended thing that all sort of drivers have in their car. It's just really useful. Um, this one does tread as well. It's got a little pin that comes out and it measures it. Um, so yeah, it's just a nice little useful gadget to have. Uh, we'll, I'll just show you on this wheel. Uh, I'm sure you guys know what to do, but um, that's just interesting. Uh, these tires should be at around 38 psi so if if it varies slightly um sort of one or two psi give or take it's not too bad but if you're looking at like sort of two or more psi below then it's uh not good so we just push this on there not quite getting a proper so as you can see that one's 35.5 so i'm gonna gonna stick some more air in that one shortly um but i'll uh, check the other ones and then um, come back to you guys with the results Okay, so we've done the tyres. Um, the the two right-hand side or driver's side or offside, uh, whichever you want to call them, are slightly below. Uh, they're about 35, and then the other side, 36. Um, not too worried. I haven't got punctures or anything. Essentially, what it is is because um, it's quite cool this morning. Uh, the pressure within the tyres uh, drops um, depending on temperature. It's sort of a a proportional uh, decrease with the temperature so not too worried what I'll do is I'm gonna pump them up um, to 38 now just so when we're on the motorway uh, the, the pressure will increase in them and we should get better fuel economy so we'll do that um, another thing I like to do is just top up the windscreen washer fluid um, it's all topped up now so that's nice and oh, I'll help point of the camera at the right place this is all topped up now which is nice uh, we've got the headlight washers all working um, and just tested the windscreen washers as well because there's nothing worse than being on a motorway uh, if, if you just got a dirty windscreen it's a right nightmare I think it's engine baker do the clean as well uh, but um, I'll show you where to uh, find your tyre pressures uh, this applies to most cars um, I'm sure a lot of you guys know this stuff already but it's always worth just going over uh, just here uh, is where you find all your tyre pressure so as you can see it's 38 all the way across the board 39 there um, so yeah it's nice and easy to find on this car sometimes you'll find it in other places such as the fuel cap 
or another door door shut here but um yeah nothing major uh other things i'm going to do uh, before we shoot off i'm going to fill the car up to full uh, just so we've got a uh, full tank of fuel i mean it's only a sort of a 200 mile trip today so this car will probably use just over a quarter of a tank because uh, it's got quite a big fuel tank and it's it'll probably get about 50 to the gallon on the motorway so it's not too bad at all in that respect um, and then i'm going to take the car for a clean because obviously we're going to see relatives and stuff uh just sort of out of respect to them really make sure the car's in a nice presentable um condition something i like to do when i go and see the family because uh, i'm sort of known for having a clean car so um yeah that's that's it guys really that's all the sort of prep i do um in terms of just checking little bits uh having a play around um it's just quite a nice part of uh, the road trip really the sort of preparation stage and make sure the car's in tip-top condition um, I'll probably also what I'll do uh, is just do a OBD read as well or a diagnostics run just to just to see if there's any new codes coming up this car to be fair is fantastic in terms of um, codes uh, nine times well I don't think I've ever had a code on it um, in the sort of seven months that I've owned it now or eight months even now um, I've done plenty of tests on it and it's never thrown a code whereas my BMW would throw 20 30 at a time so it's a uh, yeah it's a nice change but um thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys do to prep your car for a road trip um, as i know we all sort of have different uh different sort of rituals beforehand etc but um yeah and also let me know what the longest road trips you've done um obviously 200 miles isn't massive especially in a car like this i mean this will do nearly a thousand on a tank so um I'd love to, I think I'm going to try and do um, Land's End to John O'Groats soon. Uh, perhaps on one tank if I can manage it. Um, or it might be sort of an estimation on whether you can. But um, yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.